Hi everybody, how you doing? So today we have a very hard assignment. And you, as you know already, it is the art of collage. That's not hard. The subject matter is hard. But I wanna show you some collage examples so you understand the techniques that might help you interpret how you want to show your art historian collage of the times that we are in. And I'm sorry I'm losing my voice. Okay, so collage is a French word. It means coller, to cut and glue and assemble. We have many words that come from that aspect of creating art. It's assembling a bunch of things together on a base, could be any kind of a base, and putting it together and it becomes something. It could be a mosaic table, it could be an assemblage of wood, it could be just a sculpture with things glued on it. Today you are making a heavy piece of paper with a collage of the times that we are in. I'm gonna show you some examples and I'm gonna repeat again. This is non-objective. You are an art historian and you are showing us the times that we are in in our world now. You are not allowed to interpret. You are putting the facts down, okay? So that 20 years from now, when you show your kids what the year 2020 was, they will see both aspects of the world we're in, or all aspects, forget both, everything, okay? Now, technique of collage is take a whole bunch of stuff and glue it down. For this collage, you may use anything you want, preferably papers, material. Material is cloth, old pair of jeans, cut them out, old shirts, towels, you could use anything you want. You may also add natural things like leaves, sand, anything you want, and you may, may also buy words, stencils, and little images that you wanna put in to your collage. You may also use colored pencils, paint, markers, Sharpies. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some examples and then we'll continue on. So here we go. I showed you this in class. This summer, well, this end of the school year, your assignment was to do an abstract painting. So I did an example to show the class I cut out triangles. I glued them on my canvas, okay? And then I drew on top of them with my Dezoodle lines. Well, this fall, I had a one woman show and I called it Color is Time, Time is Color. I felt I wanted to inspire the times that we're in and help. And so I took all these shapes, cut out words and glued on the words and it became, let's be, let's do. So I turned my abstract art into an educational collage. One example shows the times we're in. We have a student here, Liberty Ritter, who's not my student this year, it's Micah's sister. Last year their assignment was, again, to show a point of view. Now you're not showing a point of view, you're not allowed, okay? They were. So she showed what will happen if we didn't have electricity. Now this is a painted collage, okay? I'm gonna show you another. This is again from the same series, a point of view. Okay, the student isn't here and he left it, okay? Um, actually, she graduated, it was Cassandra's. And she chose charity. Now I'm gonna turn it around. On the back, what do I tell you? Every time you start an assignment, whether it's for art, history, science, make a thinking map, organize your brain, know what your theme is, put on your spokes so you're organized and self-disciplined. The sooner you start, the better you finish the work because you're organized. You know what you're going to say. So here she did charity. And her, her point of view was about the charity. Now you don't have a point of view in this assignment. You are an art historian for this assignment. Okay, thank you. Now, I have a book that I've been using to show you. It's the techniques of collage, okay? So I tagged some pages and we're just gonna take a picture of it so you could look at 
different examples of collage. Okay, so here is the first one, and I need this. Here. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. Oh, well, stop the video.